Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to be writing our very first web component. And this is going to be a bare bones Hello World web component, but it's going to be your first web component with Polymer nonetheless. So check it out. Let's get going writing our first web component with Polymer. So in the last video, we wanted to uh, drop in this Google map. We took a little bit of a look inside of it. Now let's go ahead and let's write our own element. Now, there's gonna be lots of different ways to write your own element. In fact, on the polymerproject.org site, there's a whole thing about re, uh, creating a reusable element where you can download a seed element and things like that. However, we're just gonna be creating a basic hello world and we don't need to do that. Uh, for this particular example, we're just going to create this element nice and easy and we're not going to worry about anything else. But later on, we're gonna go over the whole uh, preparing and creating your element so that they can be distributed on things like Bower and that they can be easily reused on other projects. Since this isn't anything we plan on uh, doing anything with, it certainly doesn't matter. So let's come to our site here. So I'm gonna click on this and just make it new file and I'm going to name this hello-world.html. Okay, now let's actually uh, import the Polymer script directly into this hello world HTML file. So to do that, we can uh, do exactly what they did in the Bower components, uh, Google map component HTML page. If you notice up top here, they're just importing this polymer.html. Now the only difference here is since this hello world is located at the root directory of our project, we're gonna wanna go ahead and type in uh, the Bower components first, so that makes sure it can find this correctly, Bower underscore components. So we're now bringing in polymer.html into our hello world. Now the next thing we wanna do is come over here and scroll down. We can see that we have this DOM module and Okay, and inside of the DOM module, we have style, we have template, we have style, and we have template. So I'm actually gonna copy this whole DOM module part right here, um, and let's go ahead and delete a whole lot of stuff. Let's delete everything in between the templates, and let's go ahead and delete everything in between the style tags, and let's go ahead and change the ID to be hello world. Okay. So now inside of this template, we're simply gonna have uh, the HTML that's output by this element be an H1, and it's going to be just outputting the words, hello world, like so, perfect. And in the style, we can go ahead and give the H1 some properties just so we can make sure um, it is getting this working. So we can just do a color and simply we can use the stock blue color. So we can just type blue just so it's nice and obvious. So we have H1 with a color of blue and we have in between our template tags, hello world. And that's the end of the DOM module section. Next is we need to have some JavaScript. So if we scroll down in the Google map one that we had, you'll notice we had this is. So pretty much the only thing that we need here is the is because we're not going to have any properties. So to register this element that we have in our hello world, we're gonna go ahead and start a script tag and like I said, we don't need this text, uh, this type JavaScript because we're using HTML5. And then we can have the Polymer object. So um, Polymer, like so, open parenthesis, and then we have a curly brackets. And we wrap that all off with the semicolon. Now inside of this object here, we can say is, and the is property is going to be hello hyphen world, like we've been using. And now we're going to simply save this. Okay, so this hello world element is as simple as it gets. We basically have this DOM module that includes the template with the H1. It also includes our styles. We're importing Polymer and we have a script that has Polymer colon is. Now let's come to our HTML and let's import, just like we imported this Google map right here. I'm gonna copy this line. And I'm gonna paste this in here. And now we're going to just uh, import, not within our Bower components, because this is just in the root directory, our hello-world. 
And now we can use the hello world element in our document. So now we can say bracket hello hyphen world, and then we can close that element and save it. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna comment out this Google map because we don't need it right now. All right, so you're commented out. Let's head to our HTML. Let's refresh the page. And you can see with little to no effort, we have this brilliant hello world here. So let's check out something. So let's actually try something that's pretty cool here to give you a little bit of idea um, just why uh, web components are just so cool. So we can have an H1 in our code. So let's just have an H1. Let's wrap it up here and let's type in hello world. And what color would you expect this hello world to be? Well, we've defined in the CSS that H1s are blue. However, that's just the H1 that is contained within this hello world element. So this hello world element, the styles are scoped to this element. So we don't have to worry about styles bleeding out into other elements. However, let's say we wanted to actually modify the H1 color of this element in our CSS. So let's actually head to main.css before we reference the Google map. And let's do hello hyphen world. And let's scope that to an H1. And now let's call this color red. Let's come back to our page and refresh. And you'll notice it's not getting the red. Let's open up this hello world and let's check out the H1. And let's check out the, uh, the CSS here. As you can see, the H1 uh, named Hello World is getting the color of blue because uh, that is assigned to an H1 with the class of Hello World. So for us to be able to override this, we would want to target an H1 with, with a class of Hello World. So we can say Hello World, save it, refresh. And now you can see it's being properly overridden. But what's so great is that you can open up any of these elements and really just see the CSS that's being applied to it and where it's being applied to from. So here we have our very first custom web component created by you. And it's just an introduction to the awesome things you're gonna be able to start to create using Polymer. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.